Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is We're All Gonna Die on YouTube. Today, I thought I would give us the ultimate ballet court slash black swan lookbook. I'm thinking I could also make a video on like your ballet core must have essentials. I'm gonna try this on because this is gonna be like a little bit of both. Cause like, come, like I swear to God, I mean obviously ballet invented ballet core, but like Black Swan, I feel like was ahead of its time and like Loki invented ballet core, which is like a that's a joke by the way. I'm not actually serious about that. Anyway, so my brand has been ballet core for, I mean probably since you guys have known me. And if you're new, hello. Wrap tops are a must, if you don't know. Colors are, your color palette are pink, like baby pink, white, as well as gray. Obviously, you can wear any other color you want, like maybe like a blue, a lilac. Let's just introduce to you some of my favorite black swan outfits. We might do a part two. Hopefully in the part two, we will have the Yumiko leotard. That's like $70. And if you guys have ever bought from Yumiko, like size up, everyone says that they run small, so size up like one or two times. Uh, what do you guys recommend if you guys have ever ordered from there? So I have a bunch of pictures that I have saved for our special little gal, um, Nina. Let's start with a basic. This is just like the basics of the basics. So this is our first look. Um, I'd probably like tuck it in a little bit. I know you're like, what? This is nothing like what she wears. I swear to God, she wears her little like gray sweater. I really want like a dance one, but they're kind of really expensive at um, like all the websites I've been seeing just because they're not really making that many at the moment, like a lot of dance companies. Anyway. This is a great little sweater, dark jeans, we've seen this. So if you guys know the movie, you guys will know that basically her wardrobe represented like what was going on internally with Nina. It was just like a visual representation of kind of what was just going on with her. But gray is one of those colors that typically I would associate with a kind of boring. I know, but with when you pair it with pink, it changes the game. So we're gonna add this, um, I think hers didn't have like a turtleneck. We're gonna use this again and you guys will see how it plays and just how versatile um, some of these pieces are because it's just like repetition. If I'm not wearing white jeans, I'm wearing dark jeans anyway just because they still look elevated. So this is just our basic one. Yeah, recreating our stunning queen with a simple little look. She was at home when she was doing this and she was dealing with her mom. If you guys remember, then you guys remember. What do we think? Let, okay, so obviously my scarf is a little bit different than what we have in the picture. Also, it is like 80 degrees here in Texas. So just like, like and subscribe. Thank you very much. She also has like, like little faux Ugg boots. I don't think that they're really Uggs. Maybe they are, I'm not sure. But hers are gray. And this is what we're talking about where we talk about like pink, pink, gray. Greatest combination, I would say so. Also, she wore like a lot of like little white studs, but this is the closest thing that I had to white studs. So what do we think about this outfit, you guys? I have to like do like a tiny photo shoot here. Okay, this is the outfit one of the most popular outfits. So for these like little accents, I'm wearing my pink tights, white leotard that has a little ruching here. Oh, sorry, it's actually a V cut. She has a little ruching, which you can actually do with a bobby pin. A lot of ballerinas, bobby pin? Safety pin. A lot of ballerinas do it that way. Obviously you're not showing up to ballet with your hair like this, but whatever. And then of course we got our like pink skirt, topping it off with our little shrug, which I have linked in the description because I got questions about this every, almost every day. This is the outfit, what do we say? Oh, we're not done, we're not done. So I didn't have white, Um, I didn't have white, what's it called? Oh my gosh, I don't have white tights. No, leg warmers. So we're just gonna do gray, I mean, I feel like Sorry, my pink ones would probably also do, but just to give you guys a little diversity. What do we think, y'all? I mean, I could probably put on my, um, like my pink ones if that would work better, but I think this is cute too. Oh, shh. 
shoot. What do we think, y'all? Jete. What do we think, you guys? I'm not actually a good dancer, so that's all we're getting. A little of this. Okay, on to the next. Hey guys, I'm literally sweating already because I have like 10 billion layers on, but I need to recreate the fits. Okay, this isn't obviously exactly what she's wearing, but this is close enough. The other one I forgot to say, it's a gray hoodie that she's wearing. For this one, she's also wearing the gray joggers slash sweatpants, but today, this is what we're doing. There's enough of a clash because the two pinks are like a little different. This is all they had at Brandy Melville. By the way, like a lot of these pieces are either Capizio or Brandy Melville. And that top that I showed in the beginning is And Other Stories is where that's from. Okay, cool. So now we have this little gray thing. Um, She's also wearing her shoes again. Like her... um. I cannot think right now, you guys. Okay, so the one thing I will say about these Brandy Melville sweatpants is like, you can't like zip it at all. Like what? Like zip it up or like tighten it. I feel like I kind of look like an equestrian actually, instead of like black swan, but whatever. We're gonna pretend this is black swan. She's wearing her Uggs again. This is like in the beginning of, and these are actually my favorite looks, but this is like in the beginning of Black Swan. This is like the beginning of Black Swan because she is wearing like a lot of pink and just like soft colors basically. And that is just because she was feeling like really childish, not really, almost like she's still like little girl like in the beginning of the movie. This is what we're recreating. Um, this is kind of close. The other one's a little closer, but this is still cute, you know, in its own right. Guys, I have low-key given up on the TikTok app. Also, it's getting so dark, so I need to show you guys real quick. So now we have moved on. She wears like a gray skirt, but this is kind of all I have. So we're switching it out for the pink leotard now with the little ruching itself. And then we've got our little skirt. She's wearing a gray one instead of... She's wearing a gray tutu, actually. But she has the mist color, the mist... The pink and the gray... Um, leg warmers and sorry looks like i'm touching my crotch i remember looking up why and um basically it's just you know the costume designer created a palette for a stunning queen but also she almost like study ballerinas like professional ballerinas i think from um, from like the new york city ballet and that's how she would get a lot of like she wanted to make the costume look realistic like how they do on just in real life like you know what i mean like it, she wanted it to look like she was an actual ballerina and not just wearing random pieces that don't kind of make sense which to me this is one but i mean it looks cute so whatever um so it's really interesting i love films i love being a geek about it in this in this um video of mine uh so this is what we got what do you guys think um i think it's super cute Obviously, I already wear this anyway. Like, these are clothes that I already had. I just had to pick up a few other pieces. I hope that you guys liked I hope that I come out with a new, um, like, one in the future. TikTok is being so annoying. They added this thing. Also, sorry about my hair. I just had to put it up so you guys can kind of see it or whatever. But um, they have this, like, new feature that's, like, story. And it is in the same spot where it says, like, save draft, if that makes sense. So now I accidentally post everything on my stories when it's supposed to be an actual... Is that boring? I don't know. Anyway, go check out my TikTok. I hope that you guys like this video. I plan to do more in the future. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see. And I will see you guys super duper soon. I post every Mondays. So I will definitely see you guys next week. And goodbye. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. My next video is going to be a get ready with me as well as a vlog. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Like I would think it'd be cool if I did like a little dollette kind of um, haul or like attempting to do coquette even. I can also show you guys some of your ballet core essentials if you guys would like to see that. And I will see you guys next week. Goodbye.